Hi, lovely ladies. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Loki, and today we will be discussing about the Chanel vanity case or the lunchbox bag. Well, just not any vanity case, but a vintage Chanel vanity case. For those of you new to my channel, welcome here and thank you for clicking on this video. You will be learning a lot in today's video because the review of the vintage Chanel vanity bag has not been done before. So stick around, like and subscribe to my channel. Also, feel free to share your thoughts, ideas, opinions down below. For those of you eyeing to buy one of these vintage Chanel vanity box bags, this will be the right video for you. I will walk you through the features of this gorgeous beauty, the history of the vanity case, some mod shots, and my personal review. So let's get started. There are a few designs of this bag on the pre-loved market and if you keep a close eye on them, you may be able to spot the difference. I have here with me the Chanel Vintage Timeless Vanity Case or box bag in black caviar leather. Apart from black colour, I've seen a few other colours like the natural caramel, light pink, faint turquoise and red on the pre-loved market. It comes as a single flat top handle with a striking gold zipper going around the top of the bag. I have to say, there isn't much of a handle drop here, so it just fits your fingers. The zipper pull features a cute button-like CC logo in 24 karat gold hardware. The front of the bag features the embossed and stitched CC logo. I have seen some other vintage Chanel box bags which are quite similar but without the CC logo on the front. The dimensions of the bag are 15 centimeters across, 12 centimeters in depth, 17 centimeters in height, and a two centimeter handle drop. Let me unzip the bag for you to show you more of the interior. go just remove the stuffing unlike what we have mentioned before the interior of this bag features just one patch pocket which is slightly elastic it has the Chanel print just right here and I like to store the authenticity card just in there that comes with the bag in the bag itself so I won't lose the bits and pieces as you can see this leaves us a very spacious interior which you can throw anything in being a vintage bag, I would say this has been a very well looked after bag. I will be doing a separate video on what fits in this cute box bag. As a lover of all things pre-loved and vintage, I like to know the history of how the bag came about. From what I found, the French were making these dressing cases back in the 14th century. These travel cases were highly decorated and were made specifically for royalty and noblemen, which, as time evolved, became more extravagant in design. The compartments became more intricate and were designed to transport everything from stationery to sewing equipment, cutlery and candle holders. When the golden age of travel came about, the dressing case became more popular amongst the women and the cases evolved in its design to become more feminine and were started to be known as vanity cases. Chanel's vanity case bag started off as a vanity train cases that were used back in the 1950s and 1960s. These vanity cases were first made to store your cosmetics or toiletries during travel. Now, Chanel has done a modernized take on this bag and reintroduced it in the Chanel 2016 Airline Collection with a few tweaks and added a shoulder strap which has entirely changed the functionality and traditional purpose of the bag. Overall, this is a very classy and unique bag mainly because it is box shaped. I like the overall look of the bag and it is easy to dress it up if you wanted to. It is fairly versatile and can be carried to dinners and events or just on a casual weekend date. Because of the caviar leather which is pretty sturdy, it keeps its shape and is easy to maintain. I do not have to take special care and attention to this bag when I'm out. 
being caviar leather, it is scratch resistant, which does not scarf easily. This bag is also good for rainy days. If the bag gets wet, it could do with a simple wipe down which does not ruin the bag. I also like the roomy interior which I can store a few essentials. This gives me the flexibility to carry anything that can fit within the bag. The side pocket is fairly useful to organize smaller essentials. Sometimes I just put my credit card in there for easy access. The downside of this bag would be the short handle. Firstly, I love carrying my bags on the crook of my arm, which keeps me hands-free. However, this handle does not allow to be carried in the arm. I have seen, however, some ladies fixing their own chain straps to carry as a crossbody bag. It could possibly work if you found a hook that would allow you to attach it right here. The next issue would be the all-round zipper. I would need two hands to open and close this bag and in some instances, it can be quite inconvenient. The height of the bag can limit the types of wallets or card holders you can bring. So just be mindful if you have to switch your cards out to fit the bag. Overall, this is a vintage classic and an absolutely gorgeous bag. Putting aesthetics over functionality, this bag will be the forever bag in my collection. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves and thank you for staying till the end of this video. Once again, thank you for watching. Please leave your comments, questions and thoughts about this bag in the comment sections down below. Also, do remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more interesting luxury updates and reviews. Thank you and goodbye.